Hey guys, welcome to this next YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing how you should practice your putting. We're going to talk about some fundamentals when it comes to actually practicing your putting and how you should structure your practice. This is going to give you the best way to actually make progress when you're in the practice area and then take that on to the course. Let's get into the video. So there's two types of practice. One is blocked practice and the other is scattered practice. Now how your practice should be, whether you're spending five minutes on the green or three hours on the green, there should be a 50% split between block practice and scattered practice. Now we're gonna jump into block practice first and that's gonna be what you should always start with. Block practice, you may have guessed by sort of getting it from the name, but block practice is working on the exact same shot constantly over and over again and that's where we're going to be working on our technique block practice is the best style of practice to actually work on your technique because we're not going to be worrying about the actual shot that we have at hand because we're going to be repeating it over and over again so we're going to get used to the actual shot we're playing but block practice is going to allow us to actually focus and dial in on our technique so when we're doing block practice as i said we're going to be sticking to the exact same putt and hitting say 10 to 300 putts from that point however much time you're spending during your practice session Let's say, for example, is not everyone practices their putting, and, and if you spend 30 minutes a week on your putting, then you're probably doing more than most people. So let's say 30 minutes, for example, we'll break it up into 15 minutes block practice, 15 minutes scattered practice. Now, as I said, block practice is probably best to have some sort of training aid down or some sort of drill that you're constantly doing and working on your technique and just trying to calibrate everything. So for example, here you can see I've got the gate drill. Now this is just going to allow me just to ensure that my club face alignment's good, my path's good, and my start line's good. And if I spend 15 minutes over and over doing this drill, then I'm just gonna really rehearse and build in some really nice fundamentals and build on the technique. And that's what block practice is all about. It's all about just repeating the process over and over again and just about really getting the reps in. So, and just getting feedback from every rep as well. So just hitting as many putts in the time frame as you can from your area and then just repeating the process over and over again. Probably helps to have more than two balls as well so you can just keep firing away. And the more you do that, the more reps you're gonna be getting in, the more you're really gonna be building in and grooving in that good technique. Obviously here, I'm just using the gate draw as an example, but what you can do is have some sort of training aid laid down, like a putting mirror or a path trainer. Whichever one you pick, I probably recommend picking the one that suits what you're trying to work on. So if you're trying to work on your eye line, then obviously get a putting mirror out. If you're trying to work on your path, then get a path trainer out, etc. But whatever you do, focus on just one part from one location on one drill for half of your practice session. And that's gonna be the first 50% of your practice session. Obviously, as you go from practice session to practice session, you can change what drill you do, but the actual structure should be 50% on that fixed drill and stay on that drill and try and hit as many parts as you can within your time frame. So then once your 50% time is up, I recommend maybe putting it on a stopwatch on your phone or just checking the time and just doing it up till that time. Once that 50% time is up, then move into scattered practice. Now the rule of scattered practice is that every part needs to be different. So we don't wanna have the same part over and over again. So this is where we start to bring the practice more into an on-call situation. Because when we go on the golf course, every shot's different. So that's what we actually wanna bring into our practice. One of the most common things I hear is that people hit it really good on the practice range, but then when they go on the course, it all goes wrong. And what those people are probably doing is they're not making their practice just like their on course situation. So we need to make sure that 50% of our time spent in practice is like we're on the golf course. So that's gonna be doing scattered practice, making sure that every shot's different. What we can do obviously with putting is we can make skill games, we can hit putts from different lengths, different slopes, different speeds, etc. Okay, but just as an example, what I've done here is I've laid out just a par birdie game. So I've got four tees. One putt's gonna be for par, the next is gonna be for birdie, par, birdie, par, birdie, par, birdie. So every putt's different, plus it's a skill game, so it's gonna put me under some sort of pressure because I'm gonna have a score to keep up, okay? So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my technique from my block practice and try and bring that into my scattered practice. And that's gonna be like building in what you're doing in your practice into your rounds of golf. So that transition needs to happen to then actually see the results. Otherwise, there's no point us practicing. So this is now the final 50%, which is gonna be scattered practice, as I said. Every putt's going to be different. So as I said, we've got a par birdie game. This first putt's for par. 
so I'm level par. My next part is now for birdie. And you can see now every putt's going to be different. I'm going to be putting myself under a little bit of pressure because I'm going to be wanting to make sure that I definitely don't make bogeys, but I'd make some birdies. Okay, so that's me one under. Okay, because that one was for birdie. This next one's for par, and then this one's for birdie. And this is a really good skill game because how it works is you go around it five times, so you have 20 putts in total, and then you try and keep a score. And maybe the next time you do it, you can have your score in your mind and just try and keep beating your score. And that's just going to build in more of an on-call scenario as well, because obviously when we're on the golf course, we have a score and every putt's different. And this is exactly what this is doing. Putting ourselves under a little bit of pressure. So I'm up one under, this is for par. So this is to stay one under. Oh my god, I left it so short. Right, so that is me back to level, okay, because I because uh, I missed the par part. So now we're going to go to the birdie part, try and get back to one under. Again, now this is when you start to build in some sort of pressure because this part means something. And I missed it again, so that's me still at level. And again, this is for par. So you can see now every part's different. This is going to be the 50% of my scattered practice. What I can also do with this game is I can make it harder. So this is only around about four feet. I can make it six feet, 10 feet, 20 feet, etc., And then still do that par birdies game and keep score. But this is just an example of a game that you can do in scattered practice because every putt's different. There's a scoring system. So then this is gonna really allow me to build in what I've got in my block practice and transition it to the scattered practice, which as I said, it's like transitioning what you've got in your practice out onto the course, which is the hardest thing to do. But if we can do it, then that's when we're really gonna see the results. So they're the two key words there for you to take note of, block practice and scattered practice. The second fundamental is to make sure that it's split down 50% of your practice session. So 50% is blocked, 50% is scattered. The beauty of it is that you can, you can change up your practice session each time because you, you can use a different drill for the block practice and you can use a different drill for the skill game. Okay, what you can do is uh, if you want some skill games, feel free to message me. I actually have an ebook full of skill games, so if you'd like to get hold of that, just drop me a message or let me know in the comments below and I can send that over to you for free. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully now that helps you structure your practice a little bit better. Try and just do half hour to an hour a week and I guarantee you'll be doing more than what most people are doing. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.